It's how to identify your perfect business partner, their pain points and offering the solutions to those pain points, basically. So this is really important because if you're able to identify your perfect business partner and what their circumstances are, their qualities and what their pain points are, you can offer tailor-made solutions to give them basically what they're looking for. So some of the qualities that your perfect business partner may have are some of the following. And obviously there are many hundreds of other qualities that may be important to you. For instance, I tend to connect best with people in a similar age group to mine, um, not people that are vastly different in age. So, you know, I tend to um, connect with middle aged parents mainly. Um, I work with both men and women, but some people feel that they connect better with people of their own or opposite gender. I like people to be honest, coachable, have a good sense of humour, be a team player, they're motivated, they're a self-starter, they're enthusiastic, motivated to succeed, committed to freedom, open and sharing, they empower others and they're ready to discover who they are. Now your list may be very different and you need to just spend a little bit of time thinking about what sort of qualities you would really like in that person that you would like to work for. What do they look like? You can even give them a name and name them as your perfect business partner. So, you know, you're looking for Jane, who is 45, she has two kids, um, she's college educated, but um, she's sick of the corporate world. She wants to work for herself online. Um, she's really motivated and enthusiastic but she doesn't really know quite how to go about it. So I'm really kind of creating this person that I'm looking for. So what are their current circumstances? Um, are they stuck in a rut in their job? They've tried to work online, but had little success. They're so, they feel that they've sold out on their personal hopes and dreams, and they're disgruntled with their career path. They don't feel rewarded for their talent. They work long hours for not enough pay and they have children to support that they probably don't see enough of. So consequently, what are their pain points? Are they constantly worrying about money? Are they sick of the nine to five lasting from eight to eight? Do they have a lack of time freedom? Do they feel that their talents are wasted? They haven't had a vacation or holiday in years and they're living paycheck to paycheck with no retirement plan. They feel stuck, spread too thin, wishing they could do what they really want. They're suffering from self-doubt and uncertainty, and they're sick of being told to do by somebody else. So, you know, what time they can eat their lunch, for instance. So how would you go about identifying your perfect business partner and their pain points on Facebook? And how would you go about offering a solution? Well, you can graph search for new friends. Um, if you see the adding new friends uh, training that teaches you how to use graph search and look in business groups and, you know, look for that person that you have identified as your perfect business partner, just by how they look, their age, their gender. You can tell from their Facebook wall, the kind of qualities they have. And then you need to start building the relationship through conversation and basically over a number of days weeks however long you get to know each other you ask them lots of questions and as a result you're able to identify their circumstances their experience their history and their pain points and then you can empathize with those and a good phrase to remember is feel felt found so when somebody tells you basically what their pain point is you can respond, yes, I know how you feel. I felt the same way, but I found that once I started working online, I had the solution. So you're offering a solution and an alternative future. So whatever their pain is, and you do need to be um, congruent here, you know, you need to feel that you really do empathize and connect 
with their pain and, and you know it will be real because you will have already identified them as your perfect business partner that you can connect with you'll understand how they feel and this will come across so you you'll understand how they feel you felt the same way but you have found an alternative future so you can use Facebook ads to find your perfect business partner too. Um, for example, uh, once you've identified their qualities, their pain, and you have a solution to offer, you can start to create some engagement ads. For example, are you coachable with a good sense of humour? Maybe life is a little tough right now and you've hit an income wall. We are looking for the right people to plug into our biz op say yes if you would like details so here in this ad for example you're mentioning the qualities that you're looking for you've identified their pain and the, their circumstances that you know they're struggling with at the moment and you're offering a solution now the solution needs to be quite specific you need to say what it is about your biz op that is going to offer a solution whether that's financial or time freedom or you know whatever it is that you, you're offering and then people will read that ad and think yes that's me and yes i would like a solution and say yes for details and then you can begin the conversation so you know it's really powerful so you know identifying your perfect business partner their qualities their circumstances their pain points and then offering them a solution is probably the most powerful tool you have in your marketing toolkit because you really are connecting with somebody at a very very deep level and you know you're almost tailor making your business partner to suit your business and vice versa you're tailor making your business to suit your perfect business partner, to give them what they're looking for. So it's really worth spending a bit of time thinking about this, making some notes and really having a look around Facebook to see which sorts of people you really do want to work with because targeting those people and building relationships with those people is going to be much more fruitful than just casting your net wide and hoping that you catch some fish. You want people that are going to have the qualities that you're looking for, that are going to take action. And this exercise can really help you to identify them.